reprogram the sentry safe. We're gonna do the biometric scanner and the number pad. The number pad can have a, a, a minimum of three digits up to six. Uh, numbers gonna be this is one, two, three, four. Now the stock code on these safes is one, two, three, four, then one again. Now open the safe. Now you got 10 seconds to press this down for three seconds. There we go, the purple light. Now let's put the new code in. I'm just gonna put one, two, three, four. Let's just wait for about 15 seconds. The minimum is uh, four, so we got four in there. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four. And now we just play the waiting game until the purple light turns off. And hopefully it will work. Just got to wait around here for a little while, watching this purple light. Let's go ahead and shut the safe. Here we go. Let's see if the new code works. There you go. Let's move over to the biometric scanner. Let's reprogram the biometric scanner now. So let's get into the safe. Put your new code in. All right, within 10 seconds, you need to press down on the one and hold it. There we go. The purple light will go two times. Now place your finger when green. Five times, usually it takes. There we go. That should be it. All right, now let's reprogram. Now there's two admin fingers that you can pro program to the safe. Now let's add a secondary fingerprint for someone you don't want to have admin control. So what you're gonna do here is you can use your fingerprint number pad I'll use the fingerprint. So now you're gonna hold down on two. Now you got 10 seconds to hold two down until it flashes. There we go. Now what I do is put my thumb here. Five times typically it takes. All right. There you go, so that's how easy it is to program. All right, let's test the sentry safe to see how well it handles a wet finger first. There we go. Perfect. Let's go in and reset the scanner. It's a small scanner, but so far it's handling just fine. Let's go with the powdered finger here. Try to get the right amount. There we go. There you go, the safe gets a pass from us. All right, let's see what fits inside of the Sentry safe. Put it on the smaller side, so let's see if we can get a full-size Airsoft Glock 21 in here. Let's see if we can get the little SIG Micro 9 in. There's plenty of space for both. Uh, can we stuff, sorry, how thick is it here? Can we stuff that in there, we'll see. Ah, there you go. So you can get three little pistols in there. And let's see, let's see if we can even go for more. I'm getting a little greedy. Let's see if we can get a Hellcat with an optic on there. Uh, can we get it? Can we get it? Uh, so we, there we go. Ah, there we go. So you can fit quite a bit in there. That's what you can fit in this little sentry safe. All right, with sentry safes, they say their biometric scanner opens less than a second. So that's the benchmark that we'll see if we'll get here with my stopwatch. So here we go. Every time I test it, it's actually right on a second. I've tested it three times and it's always just about there on a second. So not quite under, but pretty much on point. All right, with this safe, everything on the center safe seems to be well done and well executed. It's definitely on the higher end of the uh, cheaper line of safes. I'd say it's in that mid zone. Uh, you know, there's vault tech would be on the highest realm and this, this would be the really good middle part. Anything underneath this is just your budget biometric safe, so you get what you get with them. And the performance has been decent on the safe. The, the scanner's a little small, but it does have a very nice fast opening lid. And you know, opens at 79%, and it's pretty good. But like I said, the scanner's kind of small, so you gotta be precise when you have smaller scanners. It's, it's, uh, it's how you use it with a smaller scanner type scenario. Not exactly just brute force by just so big it can just put it anywhere. Well, it defied me there, but you know, general, you gotta make sure you're accurate with it. And that's with the Sentry. Just, just keep that in mind. It has a small scanner.
that's what it has. But uh, everything else has been working pretty fine. Did I change the code on this thing? <laughs> no, it's the same code. Very, it's like the, when it comes to opening speed, you're not going to get any more powerful than this. It's almost like uh, one of those jack in a boxes you wind up and just out pops of an Ed Clown. Um, now, from now on, uh, from here on out though, we're going to be doing other tests with these biometric safes. Uh, this is a 600 pound fishing magnet. Some safes in the past have been able to be opened with a magnet and uh we'll see if any of these saves have any problems like that not too hopeful on any saves i'll open with this but uh this is more hopeful here this is a uh molding kit materials i'll show you right here i'm gonna make a mold of my finger and then uh use some silly putty or play-doh get that fingerprint on there and see if we can trick any of these biometric scanners so if you want to see that uh, those will be future videos so subscribe hang around until next time see you then